Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I look really blue, don't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I literally have not used this camera in like a solid year. Like nearly a year now. I have not even touched this camera. So, hey. Um, welcome back to, this one's actually going on my revision channel because it's about a summer school. Um, but the next one will be on my vlog channel, I hope, fingers crossed. Welcome back to me vlogging. Oh my gosh, I've not done this for like pretty much a year now. Honestly, this year has just been like, I've just really wanted to just go out and do stuff but in like I've been on, I've been on a lot of holidays, I've been on a lot of trips and I, I haven't vlogged any of them just because like I kind of just fell out of love with vlogging after daily vlogging. I don't think daily vlogging's for me. So I just like vlogging and then putting it together in like a weekly vlog. So anyway, this is a vlog for Oxford's unique summer school. So I've got lucky enough out of like 400 people or like 500 people that applied to get one of like the very few spaces there are for German. Please ignore the noise in the background. Lizzie's on FaceTime. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it's currently 9pm on Saturday and I go tomorrow lunchtime. So I thought I'd start the vlog now because I'm packing. I promise that's not actually like what my room looks like usually. Um, but I have to pack for Oxford and Berlin, which is proving quite difficult because like the stuff that I don't really need for Oxford that I'm having to pack and like my suitcase is so full and there's a luggage allowance and I'm so going to go over the luggage allowance. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I'd just start the vlog now and I'm just going to tidy my room now. I think she'll notice that I'm filming her. Deadly concentration. So, if you're wondering why we're driving, basically, there was a replacement bus service, but there wasn't a bus timetable or anything, so I missed the train that would have got me to um, Oxford on time. So basically, mum was like, I'll just drive you. And I said, you don't need to drive me, it's cool, I'll just be late, but no, she was like, I'll drive you, so we're driving instead, and now we're getting there at half one instead of half three, which is much better. But I just had some pasta from Waitrose, which was um, very much disappointing. If you want good pasta, M&S, Sainsbury's, other ways to go. As someone that has literally tried every pasta from every single, like, place, Sainsbury's, I think, is my favourite, followed by m &S. <laughs> And we stopped at the service station, and there was only a Waitrose, and then we've just stopped at this one to get petrol, and there was an m &S here. So, but hey, it's cool, it's fine, we're nearly there. I've got my lanyard, got some cool trousers on, ready to go. Hit, hit the Oxford. Woo! So, when we arrived at Oxford, we decided to walk to Lady Margaret Hall, which was the college that I was staying in, which is quite far out, but honestly, one of the most lovely colleges in Oxford, in my opinion, anyway. So we had to lug our suitcases all the way up there, which I'm not gonna lie, was painful. But that's okay, because once we got there, we decided to put all our luggage in our rooms, and this is my room, which you're about to see in a second. Guys, I've made it to my room. Look at the view outside my room, like what? I thought I'd give you a room tour. We've just had to walk all the way to Lady Margaret Hall, which is quite far, but it's so nice. So I'm just gonna give you a quick show around. So have like my sitting area, a desk, chest of drawers this is such nice accommodation i'm actually like what <laughs> wow once we put our stuff in our rooms we all went and did some icebreakers out on the lawn but some guy shouted at us because apparently we were being too loud for a sunday afternoon and he was trying to sleep so we decided to go to the big history museum i'm not sure what it's called um but we had our like opening talk here and um, martin sort of ran through everything that we needed to know for the week we got freebies and things he kind of like busted some myths about oxford some stigmas um so we started writing our personal statements and it was generally just really really useful and then we had some dinner at st anthony's college which was really nice that pasta was honestly the best thing ever then we took a tour of the lmh grounds lmh is genuinely beautiful like they have their own punting boats like how cool is that 
And then we played some splat to like break the ice. And once we played splat, we had a quiz in the evening. I've just had a shower and now I'm just unpacking my stuff, sort of putting it like in places. But this room is literally massive, like for the student accommodation. It's absolutely huge. Like, I don't know if you can just see how big it is. It's so nice. Um, probably the nicest student accommodation I've seen at Oxford. I'm gonna watch Love Island um, and just quickly read over the stuff that I've got on my schedule for tomorrow and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I'm gonna end this part of the vlog here. See you tomorrow, bye. Hello everybody, so it's day well, probably the first day, and today we've got like a full day of like academics, and then I don't know what we're doing in the evening, but I'm gonna film, but obviously I won't film like in the academic sessions, because that would be a bit, mm. so yeah, we're going for breakfast in a minute, okay. So I'm taking with me a notebook, but they give you a notebook which is in here, this is just filled with all of the reading that I had to do, then my pencil case, they gave us a free water bottle, but I have my own and uh, my umbrella and of course my pop up charger. So we went to breakfast and I, can I just say that the food at LMH is genuinely the nicest food ever. Like Lady Margaret Hall, you slay my existence. I have never eaten so well in my life than I have this week. I genuinely just could not have asked for more food. <laughs> um, but the first thing we had was a language class and then we had a class on poetry which I didn't film, and then we went to get lunch, and Oxford also gave us vouchers for lunch. £6.50 each day, which is pretty impressive. Then we decided to head to the Taylorian Library, which is the Modern Languages one, via Brasenose, which is my other favourite college in Oxford. And we headed to the library, and they took us on a tour. This is the Modern Languages Library at Oxford. It's huge, it's lovely. I fell in love with it a little bit. It's so nice. They explained how everything works and it was absolutely a treat to see. <laughs> this room was my favorite. It has a blooming chandelier. Like, imagine working in a room with a chandelier. Can't relate. And then we decided to go look at some of the exhibition stuff that one of the academics had put together. So we saw a lock of Goethe's hair and a few German books. Then we had some study time. So I was just preparing the work that we had for the afternoon on contemporary German fiction. And I actually used a dictionary for once, which I don't do very often. Um, and then we had the class on contemporary German fiction, which was really interesting. And then we went shopping for a little bit and there was some weird guy on the escalator and we just had a mooch around some of the shops in Oxford. There's a lot more shops than I thought there were actually. And we ate a lot. I bought my dad a t-shirt as I always do and it was really just generally a good time. Then we headed back to LMH for dinner because Lord knows I am hungry even just watching this. Um, the academics are like really like they make you so hungry. So I had my dinner. So I've made it back to the room. It's been a really long day. Um, I'm about to go rowing. Uh, everyone, pretty much everyone else in our college is having a film night. There's like four of us that are going rowing. So, you know, I signed up for it apparently. So that's fine. I'm just gonna move away from the window because there are people going back from dinner. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry for like the like low cut angles of all the clips. I'm just really embarrassed about vlogging and you know I'm not very good at vlogging anyway, so yeah, gonna go go rowing. Woo! I need to put something athletic on. I don't know if I own anything athletic, but we'll find out soon. Then we got a taxi to the Oxford like sports club because we were doing rowing that evening and it was lovely, the sun was setting and basically we just got taught how to do like proper rowing as you would do like if you were doing it on the university team which was really really fun, I wasn't very good at it I won't lie but that's okay, um, not everyone's amazing at everything um, and then we had like a rowing competition on the rowing machines it got quite competitive, as you can see we won though so I mean it's all good then we got back and because the signal was so bad inside we watched Love Island all together on the step. It was so cute and it's something that I'll always remember. I really, really loved that evening. And here is the moment where the winner was revealed. It was so tense. We were, And we couldn't even like cheer because, you know, it was like half past ten. Get 
the number. Yay! So I'm just gonna end this part of the vlog here. I don't know what's going on here. Um, but yeah, we just sat and watched Love Island outside. Um, I saw the winner and they gave me this wristband from rowing. I've had a really good day, but I'm so tired. So I'm just gonna sit and read my book for a little bit just to unwind and then I'm gonna go to bed. So today we had quite a full day. I think this was the most full day that we had. Honestly, like I remember just being so tired by the end of this day. So we had a language class on politics this time, like talking about politics in Germany, which was really, really interesting. Um, and there's Emily dabbing on the camera and they played the most funny song, which is the Martin Schultz song. And if you ever get a chance to listen to it, please do, because it's been stuck in my head since we listened to it. It's so uh, yeah. funny. <laughs> Such a tune. Yeah, chit chit and tune. There's a cheeky little shot of Angela, you know, looking beautiful. She's so radiant, isn't she? <laughs> then we had a lesson on medieval poetry, and then it was time for lunch. Yay! That jacket potato and muffin was honestly the best thing ever. Then we broke into St. John's. No, I'm kidding. Joseph didn't actually break into St. John's. We, we went in, like, lawfully. And we had a tour around St. John's. I love St. John's. It's so nice. I just don't like the beehive accommodation. But that's okay because you win some, you lose some. But it's huge. It's so big. It's literally gigantic. Like, I would get lost so easily. And the garden is literally bigger than about 10 of my back garden. Then we went to um, Ertigen House, I think it was, to our workshop on Brecht. Um, and it was really cute because we did it in like a little auditorium sort of thing and it was a drama workshop, so it worked out really well. So we discussed the Three Penny Opera and then we actually acted out the play, um, only like a scene from the play, but it was really, really fun to do. Um, we really, really enjoyed it. And I think, you know, we could all put on our own production of Die Drag Russian Upper very, very soon. <laughs> then we headed out and back to St John's actually for an admission session and we had a lovely academic who went through everything with us and he was so helpful, he answered all my questions and really prepared me for interview and personal statements. Then we had an actual workshop on interviews and then we finally headed back to LMH for dinner. By this point, I was literally so hungry. I could have honestly eaten anything. So I had my dinner. As you can tell, my plate is quite full because <laughs> I was so hungry. And then we went to flash talks, which are just random talks. We had one on legislation and language and legislation and one on French literature, French medieval literature. And then we played some werewolf in the garden with Calvin the coconut. And then I went over some grammar points um, just quickly before I went to bed for the next day and I literally just I, I don't even think I actually ended up doing it because I was so tired it's day four now woo okay so we went to go and have breakfast as you can tell I was absolutely starving hash browns yay and it was rainy today which was so sad it's the first time it's rained I'm so sad and then we had a class on grammar and we watched a film called Lola Rent which is a German film which I'd already watched before but we watched it again and we made notes on it ready for after lunch so we went to Taylor's again for lunch today and I had a wrap and then we got to go and look around the language centre which is where you can take extra language courses and I absolutely love this building I think it's probably got to be my one of my favourite buildings in Oxford it's so nice um, they have so much to offer in terms of modern languages and the woman there was so lovely she talked us through everything that you can do here they had so many magazines and they let us take a few of them and there was just crazy amounts of resources and it was just really inspiring they also had films by the way like how cool is that like you can literally just go and borrow the films if you want to borrow the films they just have so much to offer. I cry. I absolutely cry. Then we had our class discussing Lollarent, um, which was really, really interesting. The academic was so, so good. And I love film. Like, I love German film. 
So it was really cool. We annotated some scenes from it. That was probably one of my favourite classes of the whole thing. Then we had um, two hours of private study time. And in this time we were to prepare for our tutorials. So I had Joseph Roth. Roth? Roth? So whatever, however you pronounce his name in German. So I was just making some notes on the text and just preparing my ideas for tomorrow for about two hours, which was really fun. Then we headed on back, I think, at this point. Oh, Emily's being Vogue model. Oh, no, actually, we went on a tour of Queens. Yes, Helen took us on a tour of Queens, which was so lovely. I really like Queens as well. There's, uh, there's just so much choice when it comes to colleges. Like, I actually can't decide which one I want to apply for. And after we had been to Queens, we were running very, very late to get back for dinner. And LMH is literally the other side of Oxford. So we had to basically run. But that was okay because we got there and they had calamari, so I was gassed. Then we had sports in the park, and by sports I mean we sat and played a huge game of werewolf, then we played cards. <laughs> no. I do. Okay. Oh, language, I do, I, I do, do speak well, well down well, in the valley. Like <laughs> <Wah. laughs> <laughs> Please just stop making that noise. <laughs> <long. laughs> <laughs> so uncomfortable. So funny. Why? It's like okay. <laughs> It's just the best noise. <laughs> It's just Three nines. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Two tens. It was just so lovely. We just sat and talked until the sun went down and um, made weird Welsh noises. And it was just so, so lovely. A really lovely way to spend an evening. And the park is massive. Like, genuinely huge. I was shook. Then we all took some photos together. And there's Dan pulling a rather weird face <laughs> but that's okay I'll accept it <laughs> and then here's Dan trying to be macho doing a clap push-up wow amazing congrats Dan that was so good then I just went back and finished the tutorial work that I didn't finish Everybody. so it's my last full day here at Oxford which is so sad but we've got our tutorials today so fingers crossed they go well um I hope they go well <laughs> not that it's graded or anything but you know then we had breakfast and this was probably the best breakfast ever I don't know why I just really like those potatoes then we headed on out for our last day Oh, I'm so sad. It makes me so sad. Well, last full day. You know what I mean. So we had our final language class, which was on translation, which was my favourite class. It was about how different translations can mean totally different things, convey totally different meanings, even though it's translating the same thing. I can't explain, but I was shook. It was so good. That was my favourite class. <laughs> Get it, go. Keep the corridor clear, people. Ready? She's off. Go. <laughs> uh, <okay>. Nothing. <laughs> then we headed out for some lunch, went to Greens again. Greens was just the bomb.com. That smoothie was so good. I had another jacket potato and a lemon and poppy seed muffin again because it was just the nicest muffin ever. Like, I want millions of them now and joseph bought us cake because it was our last like lunch together which is so sad but so cute at the same time then we headed to our tutorials so i had mine in somerville college and it was honestly the most intense hour but the best hour it was so interesting and i learned so so much i really thought tutorials would be totally different to that but like i actually came away from it like feeling so much more not intelligent but like enlightened which was really lovely and I'm sorry I didn't film any of it but you know it's a bit awkward filming in a tutorial but this is what really like made me want to study at Oxford was this sort of teach setting and then we went to Blackwell's and I spent more money on books that I don't need but that's okay all of us foreign language people just raided their foreign language section which is huge like genuinely huge um, and I spent way too much money, but Blackwell's is literally my favourite bookshop of all time. And here is Izzy and Emily posing with Marty, the unique monkey. And then I had to get ready in about five minutes. Love it, because we went to the party. Yay! 
This was such a good party. They had face painting, a photo booth, everything. But before we went to the party... Before we went to the party, we had our college awards, which was so, so cute. Like, I'm actually shook. All the ambassadors had, like, um, party hats and balloons. We played some games and we sang Katie a huge happy birthday as well because it was her birthday the day after. So we got her a cake and everything and Marty held out the cake for her. Here she is. Happy birthday, Katie. <laughs> And then Ooh, we awesome. had the college awards. Right, so the first award is to someone who is utterly dedicated to this subject. I'm awarding the most likely to become a German academic to Eve. One more time! Thank you! Thank you! It's so lovely. Yeah. Yeah. so cute. I literally was like so emotional. <laughs> Um, off of Germans. Joseph has been a fantastic. And it has your name on it! It has your name on it! Joseph! Thank you. I mean, it's Demi there, but. No, it's, it's there, it's there. It's it's guys, I'm. Yeah, I'm taking it. That's okay. Who's gonna cry? Thank you. I've never read a classic. It's good. Is it? Oh my god! Then we headed out on the party bus. <laughs> the party bus. It was just a bus, but we all like had a bus to ourselves, and we went to the unique 2017 party. Yay! They had everything. Like they had a DJ, face painting, photo booth, food. Like couldn't really ask for much more to be honest it was so good please ignore my dog in the background because she's making a lot of noise right now <laughs> and there was a rainbow and we gave out ambassador awards had something to eat and then after we had something to eat it was party time and we just had the best night honestly i've never been so happy we just had a great night spending our last night together dancing to lots and lots of songs eating lots and lots of food having lots of sweets drinks it was great non-alcoholic drinks may i add <laughs> but it was absolutely great to have everyone together one last night and we all bonded so much over the week it was lovely I'm just back from um, the party and I've had the absolute best night. It's been so good and honestly this week has been one of the best weeks of my life. I've learned so much about Oxford, made so many new friends and just had such a good time and honestly I cannot fault Unique at all. It's been so good and so sad tomorrow is our last day. And it's our last day. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad even just watching this. So I said bye to my room and took my luggage. And then we had our final breakfast, which was, of course, the biggest one that I had. <laughs> and then after we had breakfast, we headed over to the... Was it the Maths Institute? It was some really nice modern building, which, of course, would belong to the Maths and Science Department. And we had an admissions morning so we had a talk all about personal statements which was so useful we made loads of notes so that's going to really help me when i go to write my personal statement and then we had an mlat session which is the modern languages admissions test which was actually 
a lot more accessible than I thought it would be. I actually didn't find it too bad. And that was really nice. It really like made me feel better about applying. And then finally we had hey, a Q&A a about questions bye. that we did in, And then it was bye. time to say goodbye. <laughs> Honestly though, I had the best week ever. I'd like to thank everyone at Unique for making my time there so special. And thank you guys so much for watching this. And I'm just really sad slash really debating what I actually want to study at uni. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for more vlogs in the future. And I will see you very soon. Bye guys.